Good evening, ma'am. Ganda mo yan. Mapo, you sit down. Nakukurnihan ang titindig-tindig. I am ready to answer your questions. Henry Uri, DZRH. Mr. President, magandang gabi po sa inyo. Magandang gabi. First question po, after 13 days na mai talaga si Vice President Lena Robredo as ICAD Vice Chair, kumusta po yung assessment ninyo sa kanya? Masaya po ba kayo o tatanggalin na po ninyo siya? Can you sit down? Thank you po. Okay. Because it should take a little bit longer to answer. You know, she had so many qualms, complaints about the drug war. And probably she wants to know why persons are killed and why we are being blamed for such death. We kept on denying because it is the truth that we have no hand in extrajudicial killings. And that is why I required PTB4 to post part of my briefer the previous night because it is there where all, all arrests and uh, incidents about drugs all throughout the Philippines are being posted. So you would know, makikita mo kung sinong namatay, sino hindi. And you'd notice that uh, probably in uh, two or three publications, there's uh, one, two, or three namatay. But it is not really that uh, many. As you can see, the symbol there is AAA, AAA, that's arrested. At saka yung N, it's neutralized. So, yun ang patay. Uh, added to that, sinabi ko sa kanya, tingnan mo, kasi malalaman mo. The other deaths, you cannot attribute it to the drug uh, situation. Hindi lahat ng patay, itapon mo doon sa uh, parang, when you say extrajudicial killing, it really means that it is the government doing it. That is what? Is it all about? So, in lahat ng patay na walang suspect, ikaw ay mong extrajudicial killing, in lahat naman talagang killing are extrajudicial. Ngayon, kaya sabi ko, kaya tingnan mo. You might want to join, participate, cooperate. Why don't you take the other yung sa ikad? Well, I cannot create an office. I do not have that power. It is only Congress who can create government positions. I cannot do it. Even if it is a delegated power to me in some of the laws, the rule is I cannot delegate what is delegated to me. I am a delegated authority and I cannot delegate another authority based on the authority of my delegation in the first place. Ganun yan. So, kasi kung tignan mo yung definition ng position dyan, and it says there about cooperation and all. Pero ang gusto ko sana, sa totoo lang, I mentioned it actually earlier. And I said that uh, to give more teeth to her power, so that maybe she can have uh, her, uh, whatever she wants there. Sabi ko, as long as there is a security clearance from the government, from the military and the police, go ahead. Kasi sabi ko, cooperate. Sabi ko sa lahat ng police, you obey her. Ang problema kay Rubredo is this. Right after she was uh, appointed, she began talking publicly about inviting the Human Rights Commission. She was talking to the United Nations. 
she would want to talk to the European at marami na siyang sinapinagsasabi kung ganon sabi ko I cannot appoint her as a cabinet member. If that is the way her mouth behaves, there can never be a position for her. Kasi kung cabinet member sana siya, uh, you know, uh, for the authority, because he's, he would be an alter ego of me. Ang problema kasi dito, ganito, I cannot trust her not because, because not, not only because not only ha so pagdag not only because she is with the opposition i do not trust her because i do not know her hindi ko alam kung sino ang kausap niya noon kung sino mga politiko o sino mga tao probably you know one of the big uh one the biggest actually of uh, uh, a drug manufacturing apparatus was in Bicol. In Naga. Ay, but not, 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 I'm sure, but in Bicol. So, hindi ko alam politiko siya, hindi ko alam kung sino ka usap niya. Maybe sabihin mo that her being president qualifies her to be. Of course not. I, I disagree with that statement that just because she is a vice president. She has already a clearance by virtue of the fact that she is the vice president. No, sir. I, dis I disagree with you. That cannot happen. As a matter of fact, the military has to know. And the police has to know where of you, where you stand and where you came from. And then, I'm just going to the vice president. Kaya karaming mayor na kriminal, namatay na nga eh. The fact of an election is not a security clearance. So nung sige siya nagsalita, so I, sabi ko, I will just forego with the appointment of uh, appointing her as a cabinet member. You know what? She's with the opposition. And she would be attending cabinet meetings. In that cabinet meetings, we discuss mundane matters. We discuss day-to-day -day matters. We discuss security matters. We discuss critical issues. Ngayon siya kung nandyan, hindi ko man talaga siya kilala. And the way she behaved right after I appointed her does not inspire it's not inspiring. Natakot tuloy ako. Baka pagitaan niya. Kasi she was questioning noon. Ah, yung judicial, gano'n. Kasali na ang politika. You know, I'll tell you what. Election is noble. It is a practice of democracy that you elect leaders to guide the nation. Election process but sometimes be you know, thinker. And that is why you have the election cases, Barilan, the process is uh, abused and trampled. Kaya delikado yan kasi doon siya sa kabila Nandito ako, nagtatapunan kami ng basura. Ngayon kung cabinet member siya and she goes to look into the records that are classified matters, uh, China, whatever, kung hingiin na yan, being a cabinet member, she would have access to everything, which is not. Alam mo sabi ko, election is a noble thing. But politics, she is always dirty. Especially if you're the other side. Wag mo na lang akong bulahin. Na, you know, na, I will, as a, kung anong mapulot mo dito, balang araw, two, 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 two years na lang. And she wants to aspire for 
the presidency. If that is the way her mouth behaves, that is the way scatter brain. Eh? I will talk to this, I will talk to this, tapos in my and there are there in the Senate who are fishermen. Nasa Senate may mga fishermen dyan. Na pag magdaba siya, magtanong, eh kapartido niya, they will fish something from your mouth. Ha? Huh? Tapos, if they can have this, you know, thing, they can always prepare for you during the election. Ako wala na akong problema. Wala ka namang eleksyon. Siya ang may problema. Kaya sabi ko kay Lenny, Lenny, noon pa hindi kita sinasagot. Pero yung, 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 yung knee-jerk uh, uh, reaction mo palagi na, hindi ka talaga presidente ng ganun. Hindi ako bubuto sa'yo kasi kaibigan tayo. Right after I, it was a delicate matter. No, I will talk to one. She invited even yung mga prosecutors ng Human Rights Commission, which we rebuke. What was the purpose? Bakit ipupuntahin dito yung mga prosecutors and all observers? She was grandstanding na eh. It was like a carnival up there. She was talking right and left dito, gano'n. Presidente ka, mag gano'n ka. You will... You will just place the Republic of the Philippines in jeopardy. Alam mo bakit? It's your penchant. Niger ka eh. Minsan may isyo. Tinanong ako ng media. Ito ba ang pulis makatanggap ng regalo? Lakson pati siya, automatic. That is illegal, unconstitutional, blah, 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 ganon. And lawful for a president to do that. Sabi ko sa kanila, kindly look at the anti-graft law because I was quoting the very words of the anti-graft law which allows public officers to accept gifts as token, minimal. Tapos, to, abogado ka magsabi in public, diretso ka, ah, wala, illegal yan. Bastos yan. Ah, no. Bakit mo turuan ang police maging... Look. Just before you open your mouth, kindly think Dito, puro imbita ka na, I will invite the United Nations. Di imbitahin mo silang lahat. Pero sabi ko, barahin ka na. Ang sa iyo, need to know ka lang. But as I, I can, you can direct, sabi ko, you can give the directions. You can give the guidance. But you do not have to go there and Wagol inside the law enforcement process. Magsama ko, magsama, magsama ka doon sa mga, mabuti. I suggest you go with the tatang mga police. Ako, I suggest. Henceforth, to mga police, basta you, if the drug raid, invite every network. Magpakover kayo dyan sa likod para makuha ang pagkatigas ninyo. Polis ko yung yawa. Simple lang man yan. You could have requested somebody. PTB4. I-cover mo kami. Diyan ka sa likod. Para pagputok, sabay na tayo. Akala mo naman walang namatay na polis. Sabi ko. Now she is treading a very dangerous ground. I leave it to her to continue. Well, Lenny, you give them the proper guidance, the, the direction to which they should uh, proceed. Ganon. The way the reporting, it must be clear. Have it reported. Ako, nanyan sa TV, PTB4, yung, yung extra time dyan. Nandyan lahat yung incidents regarding drugs. 
ki makikita mo sino ang mga tao sa Pilipinas that is every day may briefer na ba ako ngayon? do I have the now? pakita ko sa inyo first page yan yan kalista yun ang pinapakita ko tignan mo kung ilang patay o yung ibang patay yun because that is the official record when they go out of the nandiyan yan sa lagbok operation target drug gano hindi makakounted check ninyo eh Ah, kaya kung mag makinig kayo sa basura so it really between kami and ang opposition ano, I am inviting the Filipino people to choose which is good yung namatay ng mga kriminal o yung mga inosente Mamili kayo. Ilan ang namatay na inosente na wala kalaban-laban? Ilang bata na namatay na ni-rape na At the gruesome thing about, you know, a one-year-old child in Makati tinuhog ng at sinira yung because you see, the boy was attacked including the anal of the body. Mamili kayo. If you believe them, continue believing with the opposition. It's graceful. Ito, may briefer ako. This is today's summary report. Presidential BP. Ibigay, not worry, ibigay ko sa inyo. Ayan, magkikita ninyo. Ano yung AAA? Rodel Sagon, Jason Aquino, H. Telegre, ano? Magpapakita naman ninyo. Ibigay ko ito sa inyo. Pakikopya mo yung first page. Pati itong second page. Ito lahat ito. Lahat dito puro drugs. Ito. These are the... This is the summary. This is a part of a parang syllabus. Yan ay bigay ko. It's posted for, for the information of the entire country, people. Itong ito, gabi-gabi po mapapasok ito sa akin. Mayor, ganun rin. Sinunod lang nila yung style ko. May mga pataya noon, pero lahat, walang ito. Ito, drugs lang talaga ito. Dalawang pages. Two pa the first two pages. Have it uh, reproduced on electronic copy. So I can give it to them. Ay, babak tuloy niya. Masyado kang ano eh. Two... Pati, pati ba naman yung yung prosecutor and the tweet kita ko yung tweet eh. I am I am pack and ready to go and arrest Duterte yan ang imbitahin mo ganun ang salita sa akin putang ina lene sa harap mo sampalin ko yan Dahil mo dito. I dare you. You invite him. Sinabi ko kasi sa immigration, papasukin ninyo. I dare you. Kung talagang dedicated ka, papasukin mo dito yung putang ina yan. Puntahan kita sa opisina mo, sampalin ko yan sa harap mo. Ito ang isampal ko. Totoo. In... Lalaki may babae. Lalaki, oh, mas mabuti. Please invite him on a court and I'll order in VIP treatment. Dali mo sa opisina, pupuntahan ko kayo. Sampalin ko yan sa harap mo. Bastos. Kaya, ako, ang reaction ko ganun. 
because I am not being given the opportunity to be heard. Of course, I tried answering. I, I, I tried to mga disclaimer. Nobody is listening. Pati yung mga yellow, sige, sulat dyan ng mga basto. O, kaya kung pag gusto kong marinig, ayaw man yun ng tamang behavior. So sabi ko, mga putang ina kayo. O, yan. Di napansin na ninyo ako. So yan ang sandi lang. Tapatapos, just uh, let me round off the kay Lenny. Para, eh, yan ang ano. So, ang election, maganda. Pero yung election process, put, sinisira ng mga politiko. Terrorism, vote buying, kung ano-ano na lang. But the election itself, provided in the Constitution, is a noble one. It's a sacred uh, exercise. Pero yung politics na nagdadala ng election is rotten. Dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya nga sabi ko, kung anong makain sa bunga nga ni Lenny dito, makuha niya, including gawain ko siyang uh, member ng cabinet. If I may care uh, one of the cabinet members, then she would participate in the discussion and would know everything that is classified, I said, mundane and just an ordinary thing. It's all discussed there. But sometimes, there are uh, crisis days when you have to go into the records again and uh, try to elicit from the military and the police. Ano nangyari dyan? Ibig sabi ganito kayo. Delikado yan kasi... May mga tao rin ang gobyerno sa loob, including ang mga military. Have you heard of deep penetration agents? Well, okay. We are a republic. We are practicing uh, good practices to safeguard the country. And so, I cannot jeopardize those things if I make her a cabinet member and then she would be demand, oh, cabinet member na ako, you give me this job, then I will have to dwell on the records and everything that I wanted to know, or I want to know. So, to my mind, in my own estimation, it's not good for the country. I mean, I don't care. She thinkers with classified matters, secrets, bahala ka. Ako, bahala. Huwag mo akong galawin. But then, what do I... Again, what should I do if those matters are leaked or if it is a good issue in politics? Oh, because ito siya ang nag-order ng killing nito. Oh, siya ang nag-order tapos namatay. And then they would develop a story and they would twist it then you come up with some accusation. I do not allow people just shooting nakaluhod na yung tao. What for? Why do you have to get into yourself into a worry, worrying situation? You have to answer. Dalhin mo na lang si istasyon, then throw him to the slammer. Yes, please. Clarification lang po, Mr. President. So, your instruction to ICAD in interagency is not to give the Vice President a classified information. Need to know lang siya. You know, it is the need to know to complete her... Uh, if she asks something, then you, you, give, you give her half of it. The other half, if it's a, 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 a classified information, the... The, the, there is no need for her to, to know. No. All right. And why keep her if you don't trust her? Wala ako. I am not keeping her. She is there. I appointed her. She's working. 
As a matter of fact, it's been issuing statements every day. Sinabi ko lang, I'm just saying the parameters, but she is there. I do not have to fire her. She is there. She is working. I know in the first place, actually, what she should have done, and she should understand that, is to give the direction and the guidance. And, of course, instruct uh, the law enforcement agencies to make it more transparent to her liking. Paano ba ito, ma'am? Ano bang gusto mo? Picture. Pagkatapos, o yung testigos mo na, pakinggan sa recorder. Oh. Ito ba yung... Make it more transparent for the people. I, I, I never said I'm firing him. I, I, I said I, I, I decided not to appoint her as a cabinet member because I think I will jeopardize the whole situation, including records classified, which are secrets. Tawag nila dyan, state secrets. That includes everything from sensitive matters uh, with our relations with China, then with the United States, and what happened to the equipment that we bought, that it went down. There are analyses there that uh, You remember the helicopters that crashed? Two or three? We paid for it. And our soldiers paid it with their lives. Been asking for an information, been asking for an investigation, nothing. So I have this, we have this, uh, where it came from. Paano nila ni repair, ano repair it? So I have done on report visit and present it as new. So it on how long it on. Those are matters that are classified, which we uh, because we have to investigate why. Because I, I demanded an investigation. Kung ayaw nila, tayo lang. Why? Because my soldiers were killed in the performance of their duty. Thank you, sir. Okay. Ian Cruz, GMA 7. Good evening, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Mayor, mayroon na po kayong napiling PNP chief na Black. susunod po. Uh, pwede, niyo, pwede niyo pong ibahagi sa amin kung sino po yung mga napagpipilian niyo sa ngayon? Well, there are the rankings. That I was given a list, uh, I think, the Saskolan, uh, Ilyasar, another one. Uh, they're all good. They're soldiers. They came from the academy. I have no doubt about their uh, integrity, but I'm taking my time appointing one. Sir, bakit po medyo natatagalan po kayo? You said that you're taking your time. Because he would be appointing the heads of every department there. Especially the controller and the finance people. Sino yung gusto niyang mapunta doon? Sino yung um, kaibigan niya? Eh, kasi ako kasi, pag binigyan kita ng pwesto, hindi na ako nagkikalam. Pagkaya si Bato, when I appointed Bato noon station commander, I do not anymore mag, uh, magsabi ang barang kay Captain, wag yan kasi ganon ganon, inuhuli kami. No. You go to Bato. O you go to itong si, itong mainit na ulo, yung PD, Danao. Mainit ang ulo ng tao, bata. Pero he's good. Worker talaga yan. Pariwan sila ni Bato. They can solve a kidnapping overnight. Sabi ko, I want that kidnapping. Eh, si Ikaw, Danao, bubog-bog na po. Sabi ko, ito, alam, hanapin mo by no morning. 
Ikaw na ang bugbugin ko kasi nabubugbog ka ng pulis. Okay. John, are you? <coughs> Good evening, Mr. President. Sir, point of clarification. Are you officially ordering Secretary Dar to suspend rice importation? Yes. Because it is harvest time. Mm -hmm. Ganito kasi ang laro niyan, ma'am. Kindly sit down. And you can't stand up. Just ask your question sitting down. And I will stand for you. Uh, itong sitwasyon, devil and the deep blue sea, kung walang pagkain, halos kabahan ang mga tao. Nagrarayot na. Tapos sige na, magugutom ng mga tao, wala nang bigas, next month, wala nang kainin, mahal na. Ito namang mga ano, uh, producer, sige sila tanim, tapos pag harvest time, nagkukumpit, wala nang bumibili sa kanilang uh, pudus. It is really between, I will simplify it with you. Itong problema natin sa bigas, ganito yan. Ang elements dyan is producer, ang mga farmers, ang nagtatanim, ang consumers, tayo. Tayo lang ang naglalaro niyan. Wala nang iba. Ang producer ang nagtanim at yung kumakain. Ang problema itong kumakain... Marami masyado na itong si producer ang tanim niya kulang after harvest time. Magkulag talaga ang supply. So panahon kung wala na, kung hindi ako mag-import, kagaya nung nangyari, wala na. Sigurado, gutom ang abutin. Magrarayot yung tao. So mamili ka kung ikaw na sa pwesto ko. Magutom yung tao o galit yung mga farmers. Hindi ba magutom kaya may bigas ma, hindi kainin mo. Ganun yan. Ngayon, sabi ko, pag harvest time, wag, seasonal naman talaga yan. Ang problema, hindi ka kasi makaasa dito sa mga producers. Magsabi sila, makatanim kami, pag maharvest lang namin, we can fill up the two-thirds or one-third of the requirements. Correct. Yan ang sabi mo. Pero hindi mo alam ang sitwasyon ng mundo mo. Lalo na sa climate change ngayon. Na ang tanay mo, baka aabot talaga ng harvest time. O yung tanay mo, warakin ng mga bagyo. You cannot predict. No prediction can be made on that. Just like earthquake, no one can predict when an earthquake would Sir, hanggang, yes. hanggang kailan yung suspension? Kasi hanggang ngayong end of... Hindi yung ganito. Ang simple niyan, ganito. Kung gusto talaga natin, walang problema, bilihin lahat ng produce ng producer, farmers, bilhin. Ngayon, mahal. Farm gate nila. Babawi sila. Hindi na pala eh. Kagastos tayo, billion. Bilhin natin. Tapos, wala. Palugi tayo. Para yung mga farmers, may resulta sa pawis nila. Sino na lugi? Wala. Tayong Pilipino. Bilhin natin lahat yan. Tapos, dagdagan natin kasi kulang talaga. That's why ang rice mahirap noon. Alam mo bakit? If you imp if you import rice noon, bawal kung kung hindi man bawal, magkuha ka ng kota. Kota sa kurakot. Ngihi ka ng permit sa gobyerno, patay ka na. Dadaan ka ng ilang opisina, hingi-hingi dito hanggang pagbili mo sa rice. Pagdating doon, yung customs Hingi pa, handlers, hingi. 
Tapos maghingi pa paglabas mo ng mga police diyan maghingi na checkpoint pag doon sa taas hingi LTO utang ina Meron bang isa yung Department of Tanggalin niyo total may mga NPA kan hindi man kaya hindi man kaya kayo mga maubos Oh, edi yung nagti-checkpoint dyan, eh. you better hang them. Dyan sa checkpoint, I'll give you the authority. Hang them. Yung humingi na nagti-checkpoint, hang them. And I will be happy. Ngayon, kung sobra-sobra na, ang, ta ang Pilipino, sabi ko, visual, pag makita niya yung rice, kabans hanggang ceiling pagtingin na yan okay siya po magtingin siya ang mga sako ganyan na lang kakabahan na yan tapos alam niya wala nang harvest na mabili wala pang importation because it would take so many days and months to do it that's why may buffer ka sabi ko kay Pinyol noon and I would I seldom talk to them He's a very educated man. Sabi ko noon, the order, Mr. Dar, Secretary Dar, you fill up the warehouse. Hanggang dyan. Kung hindi makain, hayaan mo. Kainin natin yan. Masira, hindi na bali. Gubilin natin yung mura. But by the harvest uh, of the farmers, farm gate price. Malugi. Lugi tayo, Pilipino. Malugi. Ilang bilyon? 3 bilyon? Lugi tayo ng 3 bilyon. Bakit? Para ang farmers mabuhay. Kaninong gastos? Gastos natin lahat. Yung nagproduce, pati yung kumakain. Kasali kaya dati 3 bilyon na bibilhin natin. Simple lang. What is the order of remedy? Nothing. I cannot stop Tarification. Why? It's to erase corruption. Yun nga hinihitay kong opportunity. Dumating talaga. Because everybody, well, not, not everybody, but there are some, somebody na ayaw rin kasi masira yung negosyo nila. Yung mga rice importers na negosyo na pabili na ayaw niya. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I made you happy for several years. Now is the time that you have to come to terms with reality that I have to take care also of the few. I cannot abandon them. Walang dalalanan. Sabihin ko kay Dar, and Congress, you appropriate money and we will buy all the rice, farm gate price ng ating farmers. Mag-import tayo as a buffer because their produce will not be enough for the consumers, the 110 million Filipinos eating rice. Kaya mas gusto ko, karamihan mga kaibigan ko mga babae, mga payat, hindi na raw siya kumakain kaya nagdadahit. Sabi ko maganda. Wala akong rice crisis nitong yawa na ito. Sige, huwag kayong kumain. Ngayon, kaharap ko, every time ay... Wala, wala kumakain. Ng... Totoo, ha? Yung kasama ko sa table, kita mo, puro payat. Sana yung ano ko, kasama ko sa table. Wala. Mga ibon. Samahan ng mga, mga feminist. Ang ito ay kusito, tigit na huwit ang huya. Ganun ako magtawag ng ano? Totoo ha? Tell you the truth. Baski yung unang asawa ko. Kung tawag ko sa kanya. Saan ka? Dito ako sa kwarto niya. Totoo. 
bakit butas mo yan ang bunga nga? Kung ayaw magbuo yan. Ano pa po? Dito tayo sa kaldero, gusto ninyo? Tuesday nyo? Tama si Taberna. Ilang kilometro magawa sa presyo sa kulis, kulisiyum ni Trilot? Is it used every day? Well, if it is used and making money, fine. But how many kilometers of those public structures there in Iloilo? Kung ginamit yun to cement all the highways there. You know, there can never be corruption in that situation. Because you commissioned a national artist. Sino yung pangalan niya? Oh, ito, si 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 Minyosa was commissioned by the government to create yung nakita mo yung kaldero ngayon. It is a product of the mind. You cannot estimate how much nalugi ka because it is the rendition of the mind of the creator. Kung yan ang singil niya, di sabihin niya, edi ako huwag mong bilhin yung ayaw mo. Yan ang presyo ko. That's like a painting. Yung pintura, magpumisyon ka, sabi pagkatapos, a family painting na ano talaga. Pati yung mga muka namin dyan sa ano, eh, hanapin mo, taas. Yan yung nakagalire naka dyan. O, yung gumagawa niyan, binayaran niyan. How much we do not know. Yung isang picture dyan ni, ni Presidente Duterte, Ginawa yan. It was paid for. Magkailan. Abot siguro ng 5 million. You cannot debate with the painter. Sabi niya, sir, yan ang... Na, magsabi ka, you create a symbolism of the athletic activity. That is the mind of... Walang extravagance dyan. Bakit yung kulisiyum niya doon? Ganon kalagi. Bakit yung dyan litliitan? Bakit ganon kalagi? Oh, yun ang plano eh. Wala kang makuha dyan. It is the rendition of the request of government for this national artist to build it. Siya lang ang nakaalam kung ilang preso niya. How much did you pay? Five, na five million? Forty-five? Well, that's about it. Di sana kung mga taga sisabi mo sana huwag na lang. No, gaano ba talaga kaliit o kalaki ang kaldero? Sige nga. Sino ba ang pinakamalaking kaldero? Alam niyo, sino pinakamalaki yung kaldero? National Artist for Architecture 2018 Known as the architect of the following Coconut Palace, Our Lady of Peace Shrine of Edsa Shrine Edsa Shrine ito bang interest rin, guberno? So, just to be, pasok tayo ng pinaluso po. Without really negating the holiness of Mama Mary. 
Sino ang nagastos niyan? Kung ang nagastos niyan ang katoliko, oh. pero ang nagastos niyan ang gobyerno, why? I thought there is a separation of church and state. So just because you were invoking somebody there, and you attribute your victory to the lady, and you make a shrine, and I believe it is uh, Edsa shrine, I don't know if it's a, if it's a donation, fine. But if it's a government, uh, I really would say that uh, it is a violation of our church and state principle. Memorial, uh, memorial, Metro Rail, Amampolo Resort. Studied architecture in San Tomas, father of the Philippine Neo Vernacular Architecture. Tokatis na ito dito, I cannot understand. Yeah. So, if we agreed, and sabi niya ang preso niya is 45, so how big is big, and how small is big, and how small is small? And it can build so many schools. Well, that is debatable, my friend, Senator Drillon. I said, you have yours, and you also can build so many kilometers of what you spend there, public money in your place. Doon kontrata, ito, ito, binili mo ang utak niya. Kung pumayag ka sa otak niya, wala kayong usapan na kubrahan ko ko yun ng ganun. Sabihin niya, sige, gawain ko yan. Presyo mo. 45 million. Gandahin ko. O, sige. We build schools? Yes. We build uh, infrastructures for an Olympic event? Yes. You, you, you impose your whatever uh, thing there as big or small. You begin to criticize the efforts of the people there. Ako sabi ng ano niya na ito, ito kalaki ang gawain ninyo. Yes, following the wishes of the person who made it. And that person is valuable because he created something which you want to portray up there because of the coming Olympic Ano ba naman yan? So, walang corruption. May maybe 45 million. But nandiyan na eh. So, how big is big? Kung sabi ka na ilang eskwilahan na ang magawa niya. Yung, yung ulisiyo mo, ilan rin ang kilometrahe ang magawa niya? Jesus Maria Josep. When you, say, when you begin to be too trivial about it, it's 45 million. But compared to the extravagance of everybody. Lahat dyan sa gobyerno, including you. Lahat tayo. Because we have our own mind. I want to bridge it. I want to borrow money and extend it. Sabi ko nga, mag, ang, ang problema ang easement kasi ayaw ibigay ng mga, sabi ko, we will, and we will force it. Sabi ko, you exercise the right of eminent domain, which is a fundamental power of a state, get it by force. Ang sabi lang, magdeposito ka sa korte, bahala na kayong pintada kung kailan, kunin mo. And I'm ordering them, bulldozing mo na. 
Huwag kayong magbigyan ng ano. Uh, DPWS do not give me that shit. Transportation. You know that there is the right of eminent domain. You agree on something, every ban in the government. Alam mo, mayroon dyan two, two weeks uh, putang... Look, every government office, including the cabinet, pati ako, the papers must be out yung mga projects one month. Pagkaputang, hindi ninyo mapalabas na, wala na. That's two years. Ang gestation period niyan sa grid, sa gobyerno, paggaling doon dito, permit, you know, then maghingi ka pa ng Yung road right to bus. Yung mga director, I'll give you three days. I will make an audit. If you cannot do it, then let tell me because I will assign you here. Alam mo dito sa Pasig, hindi ako nagbibiro, ha? Oh, sundalo ko. Alam mo, walang magutom dito sa Maynila. All you have to have is hook, line, and sinker. Karamin tilapia dyan. Magsabi ka isang drum, isang araw po ang meron. Kaya kayo mamingwit kayo yung mga tamad sa gobyerno. I'll give you three days. Director, three days. Ilabas din nyo yan. If you want to, to say something, deny it. Deny it. Or disapprove it or approve it. But do not sit on it. Ako, I'm tired. Tomo, tomo. Two, two, two more years to, to go. Puta, idadamay ko kayo lahat sa, sa perdisyon. I will whip you like a horse. Do it or you face uh, tilapia in Pasig. Maniwala ka. Magpabili ka nga. Raki, sabihin mo. Perequisition kayo. Yang ano lang, total maraming kawayan. Ano ba yun naman yung tali na ano? Tay, totoo. Magbili kaya magparequisition ka ng ano. And you dig somewhere there. Maraming worms yan. Kung wala ka kuha, maraming worms na kriminal. Adik. Eh, tapon mo sa pasig. Chutney? Chutney yan? Um, umagahan tayo ng istorya dito. <laughs> Hindi. Look, I invited you to ask question. Did you allow me to talk and talk pareho kay Gordon? Hanggang kung mag committee meeting, siya na lang ang isa. Because lahat nagsiali sana. Kasi siya lang, kagaya ko, talking and not giving the time. So you should have called my attention. Sir, we... Huwag mo lang sir, sabihin mo. Mayor, mayor lang. Mayor, we are here upon the invitation of the press office by Conferencia. Kindly give us time to ask questions. Now is the time, my lady. Yes, good evening, Mr. President. Uh, malapit na po ang December 31. Ito po yung deadline oh, para doon sa effectivity ng martial law. Yung security officials po ba ninyo mayroon ng rekomendasyon sa inyo hinggil dito? Will you extend martial law o kailangan pa o kailangan na itong tanggalin ang visa? I will leave it to the military and the police to make the recommendation. Martial law is a, a military thing and it's their uh, assessment or their uh, evaluation of the Mindanao situation. If uh, the defense secretary says that it's no longer needed, I'll wait also for the statement of the military and the police. Then I will decide. So as of yet, sir, wala pa po silang forward pa po sa Wala pa po sa table ko. I was looking at the papers kanina pag ano. Hindi ako kasi I'm, uh, uh, I'm always behind my schedule. Kasi I had so many and this uh, Korea, sabi, mo, sabi ko sa inyo, I hate traveling. I don't want to travel. I, it gives me headache and everything. But this is important, you know. 
so many things at stake. One is that we are buying arms. Second is that uh, there are many assistance on, on the way coming. Third is a uh, uh, Itong soul is a, a vital partner natin. Alam mo, kasi ang mga armas ngayon mahal, but uh, uh, we can always buy our, our jet planes, uh, yung F-15 natin, galing ano yan. Now we are buying Corvettes. Or how do you find Corvette or Corvette? Or whatever. I'm buying the arms and I will look into the uh, Para hindi ako mag-asa lang sa assessment lang. Ano ba naman yung pamasahe? Mag-ano ako mo, mag-commercial lang ako, no? Puntang Korea. Ah. Mag-commercial lang ako ng maliit na plan. Okay, Mr. President, may tatlo na lang po magtatanong. Si Catherine, Ina, and then Joyce. Uh, good evening, Mr. President. Uh, nakarating na po ba sa inyo yung findings ng Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission regarding po sa investigation nila sa dalawang cabinet secretaries na allegedly involved na po sa corruption? Sisibakin niyo po ba ito or will you keep them? Uh, 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 nakita ko na. Uh, and they are investigating. Uh, I have yet to have the, the result. Alam ko na. Uh, kasi uh, sa briefer ko, na, Pero, nabasa ko. Yung one, 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 one day na, na, na binasa ko. Pero sir, si, sino-sino po itong cabinet officials at ano po yung corruption na, corruption issue po na in, involved sila? Wala makangang alaman actually. Wala pa sila? I do not know of any. I, I should know actually. Kung we, if you are corrupt, kasi papatawag kita dito sa opisina and we'll have a one-on-one -on -one talk. Wala akong... Kasi kung meron, ay pare. Sigurado yan. Pagtapos na, may... But uh, let us observe due process. Alam mo yung kay ano? Let me go back in time. Kay Albayalde, Kung ako ang fiskal noon, itatrap ko talaga. At that time, kung yun ang ebidensya lang sa harap ko, because inimbestiga ito ng Department of Justice. Si, I forgot the name, ang isa si Malcontento, is that his name? O, oh, pero, nagdududa ako, kasi drug eh. Drug man eh. Tapos si eh, pinabasa ko, sabi ko, pag ako ang fiscal nito, talagang idadrop ko. Tapos sabi ni sekretary sekreta na, Tal talagang wala eh. Kasi wala pa lumabas lahat. Ayun ang problema. They filed it half-baked, half-cooked, or even it was to me as a prosecutor, a raw hilaw talaga. So, kaming nasa quasi-judicial, tawag yung mga fiscal. Kung ako talaga, really, sabihin ko publicly, you can go, inatrap ko talaga. Tama yung ginawa ng Justice Department. Pareho kami fiscal. Drapable ang tawag niya sa amin. Walang gago ang fiscal magpahay. Pagdating sa korte, mumurahin ka ng judge. Are you a lawyer or are you a lawyer? Ina? I wish everybody would have his time to ask questions. Good evening. Because if not, then we'll have coffee. May, may, do sinabi ko siya, mag-ano mag, ka ng kape? May ba we'll have tea party after? Na, meron ba? Hoy, taga... Ihaw, ihaw ang tamang yawa. Sir? Ihaw ang tawag niyan in, 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 in house uh, something. Ang nagmamanage nito, ang tawag ihaw. Kaya sabi ko, mag-prepare at least coffee lang naman. Siyempre, 
Pupunta yun dito yung mga kaibigan kong mga journalist. They journey here late at night. Tapos wala lang man baski kape. Mabuti pa ang patay pala nito. We're good, sir. Thank Mer you. May kape? Saan ang mga tao dito? May, may, meron? Meron? Ah, ano daw? Coffee, pagkain, wala. Ay, ayun pala eh. Sige na, mag-break muna tayo. Totoo. No, sir. Break. No, no. Gutom ako. Let's continue, sir. Di pa kasi ako kumakain. Sabi ko, nagbabasa ako kanina eh. Sinabi, nandiyan na kayo naghihintay. So, sakay ako sa lansya ko na walang patungong. Thank you. Walang radar yung lansya ko. We're okay, sir. Thank you. Sir, um, the Department of Health has uh, reported a confirmed case of a teenager who got ill because of vaping. I'd like to get your thoughts on uh, proposals buti, to buti ka, ang gusto ko is because you ask the question at a time when everybody is sleepy. This will wake you up. I will ban it. I will ban it. The use and the importation. Uh, I hope everybody is listening. Pakit. Uh, really na lang. You know why? Because it is toxic. And uh, the government has the power to issue measures to protect public health and public interest. You know, ang cigarette, the confirmed chemical there that's uh, not good for humans, deadly it's nicotine it's uh, it induces a habit habit forming and it is toxic and it kills people and there, even the surgeon general of uh, the united states said that it will cause cancer that's why it is there on the side of the market it will cause cancer now it don't vaping sabinila is electronic don't give me that shit Better stop it because I will order your arrest if you do it in a room. I am now ordering the law enforcement agencies to arrest anybody vaping in public. That is like smoking. You cannot do it inside the room. That's full of shit. You contaminate people na hindi na pala panahong mamatay. You know why? Mabuti pa ang sigarilyo kasi the confirmed uh, toxic thing that causes uh, uh, harm to people. Nakalagay dyan yung nicotine. Itong vaping, it contains nicotine and other chemicals that we do not know. It has not passed the FDA food and drug. And at this time, I said, smoking is dangerous. So vaping is also dangerous, and I am banning it. And if you're smoking now, you will be arrested. I am banning the importation. So customs, you listen to me. You am banning it altogether. Sir, are we expecting an executive order on this soon? Yes. Surely, but uh, nauna na. Hindi na kailangan. As, as you know, as a government worker here, standing, uh, working here, I have that urgent power to do it. So I'm ordering it. Sir, the, just, the EO will follow. Sir, just to be clear, are you, is this an, a total ban or yes, just a ban? Yes, importation is not allowed. So, hindi lang po siya, sir, um, na pinagbabawal in public places. It's more than that. Bawal yan. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga, give me the wherewithals. It contains nicotine. So, what other, sabi mo may, uh, there, there, there's a, a taste there. You can choose uh, the scent and even the, you know, they're just killing people for money. I will ban it because it is uh, not 
good and it is contrary to public uh, safety. Sir Las, this is still um, involving oh, 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 the Department of Health. Nakarating na po ba sa inyo yung listahan ng DOH about the uh, list of more than 100 medicines na gusto po nilang ipababa yung presyo? I understand you're supposed to issue an EO also about this. Um, when wala pa are we expecting? Ipabasa, no, wala pa. Hindi pa dumating sa akin. Kung dumating okay. man, hindi ko pa mo nabasa. Okay. Uh, ganyang kakapal yan. Uh, two days lang. I said, I read it. That's why it takes time. I did say yung iba. I'm not trying to attribute it to anybody. Yung iba sa pag initial na, wala na sila. No, I do not do that. Baski na may initial, may ikot na yan dito, pagdating sa akin, babasahin ko yan. So that I know what I'm signing. Thank you, sir. Okay, last question, Mr. No? President. Uh, Joy? No. It's still early. It's only 11. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Sir, kamusta na po ang inyong kalusugan? Were you able to rest these past few days? Ay, nakita ka na isang, 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 kam, isang tindig na lang ang, uh, ito nakala, naka, nakapatong na. Ibig sabihin, hindi may, may injury. Kung sa inyo makita. Uh -huh. Saan po ito, sir? Uh, ito. Ito, visible ito. No, the hematoma. When you are old, um, hematoma mo, tagal, you know. I walk with the limp. Pero wala naman akong fracture. Pero, you know. Sir, nitong mga nakarang araw na hindi po namin kayo nakikita sa publiko, were you really advised by your doctor to take a rest for a few days? Alam mo, gusto ko yan. Ang problema yung trabaho. Kasi walang ibang magperuma niyan eh. Hindi mo madali, unless you go into an official leave of absence. I cannot do that. No, but no president can ever do that. In between, far and wide, your vacation, tampag ba yung nangyari? Ano mo, it's a, it's a, ang, ang Pilipinas continues to be a volat, volat, volatile uh, volatile or whichever you have the insurgency you have the NPA and you have the terrorists ang pinaka dangerous dyan are the terrorists mahirap ang but sir yung pagpapahinga ninyo was it advised by your doctor ano po was it advised by your doctor sir for you to take a rest for a few days Hindi ka ako makarest eh. Mag-uwi lang ako. Tulog na ako dalawang araw. Kasi para to make up the short ball, ika nga. Pero after that, eh, katulog ako baski diretso, gabi, pati hanggang umaga, tapos hanggang alas 6. Then I wake up with a more uh, sturdy feeling of my body. But, alam mo ma'am, I am 74 years old. I'd like to talk to the people of the Philippines. I am 74 years old. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm happy that uh, after uh, this, uh, I only count the days, the Christmas, two Christmas, and then I retire. Huwag na niyo akong tanongin na kung may sakit ba ako. Kasi lahat ng 74 years old dito sa Pilipinas, except for a few, lahat may sakit na yan. Mamili ka lang cancer, hypertension, diabetes, uh, kidney, uh, lung cancer, uh, cancer of the colon, karamihan, Ay, yung lahat ng sakit na yan, nandito na sa akin. Matanda na ako. Pero kapagsalita pa naman ako. But, but when I'm no longer coherent, if I cannot articulate now the things that I want to convey to you, then it's about time that you call the attention of my family in the answer that your father is no longer 
capable of being president of this republic. Why? Because uh, he's not good anymore. Then if my family would say, you retire, do not wait for the expiration, uh, they go. If I cannot talk to you anymore, if I cannot uh, be of help to you, then it's about time to say goodbye. Until then, and it will come, we just wait. Mga gustong ako ipakulong, then walang problema. Ipakulong ako kung kaya mo. Sir, by next week, lilipad po kayo sa South Korea to attend the ASEAN Commemorative Summit. Do you believe, sir, you are in good condition to, to fly and attend this event? Hindi, ma'am. Ako ang nakimaki na, ma'am. Mag-upo mo lang ako doon ba sa bahala ng aeroplano. You know, I said, I am 74 years old. And when I, when I, when I decide to travel uh, outside, it presupposes that uh, I think I am. But to worry about the, I'll give you one advice. Things beyond your control, do not worry about it. You're just wasting your time. There are things in life beyond your control. So do not, do not kill yourself thinking about it. Eruplano. You take a small plane, it's cheaper. The people does not, uh, do not rather. People do not have to share the burden of uh, paying. So you want to be frugal about it. You ride the plane, Korea is a little bit far, but your hands is a, a Dios. At sa piloto, ang piloto kung i-dive niya, wala ka talagang magawa. Kung ang piloto bagong lang graduate lang, eh, tapos nag-take off ka, sumagay ka, then it's no longer your worry. So why worry? Oh, I do not worry because I do not control life and that it's God. Sir, last na from me. In the sidelines of the ASEAN Commemorative Summit, will you be having bilateral talks? Yes. With state leaders, sir. Yes. Ano pong countries ito, sir? Well, uh, security matters. One, security talaga. And it's obvious. It is now the, the equilibrium of uh, geopolitics. Uh, you know, North Korea, then the Spratly Island. Uh, the South Koreans are also against the occupation of uh, the South China Sea and the claim of China. This will be taken up because one day when we decide to really go for it, it will be the Western powers plus Seoul plus Tokyo and uh, Australia, Malaysia. I do not know if I'm not sure of Malaysia if they'll join the fray. Philippines. Philippines. I love the Philippines. It is the land of my birth. It is the home of my people. Alam pa ninyo yan? I love the Philippines. It is the home of my people. It is. Sir, just to clarify. I, I, will, I will decide when the time comes. I will not make any guarantees because I said we do not have the even the firepower, and uh, I will never commit to something which will just, you know, massacre. Bahala kayo dyan. Tayo cover lang. Sir, just to clarify, bilateral talks with South Korea, so that's sure, and then may ibang bansa pa po ba tayong kakausapin? I'll talk to Korea. But, but, but on, on the sides, <clears throat> ganun yan eh. Pull aside ang tawag nila. Pull aside is, pag ka, 
Birbahin ka kunyari, dito halikan mo na sandali. Then you are in a room. Sabi niya, nyo lang pull aside isa. Gusto kang kausapin ni Abi o gusto kang kausapin niya. Usap kayo na sa'yo. Wala yan sa agenda. Karamihan security. I said, if it is to the interest of the Republic that I will commit to any, then I will. But if it is not, I said, to the interest of the people of the Philippines, I will never commit to anything that would even jeopardize one life. Okay, pasensya na, Mr. President. Mag-last question daw si Henry. <laughs> Mr. President, in behalf of the Malacanang Press Corps, maraming salamat po sa inyo. Uh, your Christmas wish sa ating mga kababayan ngayon pong nalalapit na ang Paskuhan. Yes, that you will have your, uh, ano tawag yan, yung ka kain sa gabi? Noche Buena. I hope that uh, you will be sitting on the table having not Noche Buena with your family and happy about whatever the situation finds us. Oh, I said we cannot control everything. There are things which is beyond our control, so just... Okay. Magkape muna tayo. Bakit kayo na... Inyo man yan. Nasabihin niya, huwag yan kasi kami mga media, hindi kami... Uy, loko-loko. Inyo pera yan, hindi yan akin. Bili ng gobyerno yan. Ay, ako pa magpabilihin ng kape ninyo? Maswerte kayo. Ha? Kaya tayo doon. In pera ninyo. Huwag kayong mahiya. Wala akong hingiin sa inyo. Kaya ko ayaw ko kayong kausapin nga eh. Para wala akong hingiin. And you know, nandiyan buhay pa bang kayo. You covered me. You covered my presidency. Never ask anything. Ayan si Tagadabaw. Ito, Uraki. Tagal ka naman tayo. Tagal lang ka. Nagkasiyota na lang tayo. Noon, wala akong hiningi na write a favorable article for him. Ang hiningi-hingi ko lang, kung sakali man na meron akong, I will decide one day whether to allow Ang hingiin ko lang sa kanila. I will just ask for the truth and fairness. That is all. You can publish anything as long as it is. Huwag mo lang itwist. Publish mo. Pa, show it to the public. I would not mind. I guarantee you. I will even protect you. I am asking only for truth and fairness. That is all. Thank you.